Hey guys, it's Cal here again. Um, this is my Luke Return of the Jedi V2. Um, bit of history on this. I had uh, Francisco over in Venezuela machine a prototype um, Luke V2 for me. Um, it wasn't really 100% accurate, so I wasn't very happy with it. And then I started looking at the forum screenshots. Bit of information from Scott JUA, um, and he knows too much about screen accuracy. Um, and I set out to do this install. Now, the things that I had to do, I had to um, uh, install the D-ring. There was no D-ring in there at first. Um, so D-ring was installed, sourced the accurate clamp cards from Sloth Furnace, uh, Dark Side Engineering um, uh, clamp, Passage Jedi cone knob, um, and then it also accepts TCSS inserts. So I've got one of those downstairs. The Graflex, the genuine Graflex clamp came from... Uh, I think it was Cad Bane on the forums. He sent that to me for free, um, so thank you to him. Um, I just paid the shipping, and um, I started thinking about the install. Now the install, um, I could pretty much get all the electronics in here. So I was thinking about how I'm going to hold the heatsink up here, or what I'm going to do. I didn't know whether to do a CFLS or um, something different. So I put it to the side on my workbench. And I discovered um, a friend of mine wanted me to do some work for his lightsaber. And it had a really amazing crystal chamber inside there. And um, I saw the video of the crystal chamber and it was made by a guy in Hong Kong. Um, he's a watchmaker called Lam. Uh, Dick Lam, I think his name is. And um, uh, he makes these really intricate tiny motors and tiny pieces. And um, his skills are unparalleled when it comes to making things that you know are so tiny and small and little mechanisms so I sent him an email and I saw the chamber that he made and I said to him you know can you make one similar to you know um, like a lightsaber um, one for let's say Return of the Jedi so we we spoke for ages for a long, long time talking months here and um, we came to the decision to do a spring-loaded chamber reveal so you would twist the sail, it'd pop open and there'd be a crystal in there and then obviously being a watchmaker he's got these tiny tiny motors and um, uh, we thought why not make the LED spin so uh, it came to me at first there was problems with the heatsink module I had to do some more machining and it just wasn't good enough um, it wasn't working properly it was stiff it was grinding um, the spring was too thick um, and it was just rubbing against the inside of the saber, so it wasn't that it didn't have that nice smooth spring load. So I um, uh, did a bit more, did more machining, uh, sent it back to Dick, and I said, "Look, um, you need to get me one of these springs that are not as thick, like 0.8 millimeter wire." So he did that. It was here with him for a while, and it finally came back today. Um, and now the it springs up and down really nicely. So this is the actual saber. You don't actually have to undo the clamp for it to pop open. You just twist it, and then like that. So that's the crystal chamber it does light up it does spin obviously there's no electronics in it right now but literally that is what the inside is going to be like and then you just close it down twist it and that's it normal again and it's pretty pretty accurate um, you look down the barrel as well the LED goes in there um, and it won't be uber bright or anything like that but it still will be bright um, don't get me wrong it will still be very bright uh, lead engine is going to be wide in the series both the green dies so literally simple as that it's like that opens up really nicely that spins that lights up it's gorgeous um, it's got sort of 3d printed parts in there and um, it's gonna have most likely a crystal focus 7 or 7.5 now that they're out um, or will they come out and um, uh, yeah so that was the little update with my return of the Jedi v2 I know a lot of you've been wondering what's going on with that after seeing the pictures and the build along the thread also um, it has uh, two special switches milled in here um, so you just tap it like that orcs and stuff and um, it's got a 3D printed rocker in there that allows for it for that allows for that to happen. So if you see that rocker there, that presses on the switches. This little rocker, and you press that with um with the clamp card. Very nice and easy, and really really responsive. So it'll be activation orcs, activation orcs, something like that. Obviously I'll put a bit of tape on there to keep it nice and secure. So that's the Return of the Jedi V2. Um, that will be for sale soon. Um, I did just buy a Mustang, so I need to sell these lightsabers um, to cover the costs of that. 
And yeah, hope you guys like it and it's just a nice little update there for you. Cheers.